Is it okay? I have no choice but to speak in my high voice. Or I shall never be in a position to speak forever. So choice is not with me anymore. This thing is not improving, but they say in six weeks, voice must come back to normal. So I have publicly decided, no more cheating. <laughs> there is a problem. What I know, nobody knows. So actually the idea was, in my last mile of life, I should leave the knowledge for record. You may enjoy it or not, or you may do it or not. That's not my problem. No. I go through every day through a lot of hassles. Dealing with people is a very difficult problem. People have their phenomena, their facets, their projections their insecurities, a lot of fears. That's the way this whole world is angry, upset. Because third chakra is not balanced. Third chakra is in life, yes and no. High and low is balanced at third chakra. It's a point of pure energy. If you do not know to balance third chakra, you may have all the degrees, all the knowledge, all the money, all the beauty. You shall grantedly be unhappy. Because it is not what you feel. It is not what you know. It is not what you can do. It is how you can balance it. <coughs> when you cannot balance, you cannot live. Think of a car which drives out of balance and watch out how long there shall not be accident. Our life is full of accident and incidents. Majority of the accident we don't want, but they do happen. When things happen beyond us, it is when we have not balanced them. Now you think, I can balance, right? Not true. This is how the human brain works. As you hear, you should balance it. As you say, you should balance it. You can't do this later on. So the body and the capacity of the body has to balance it. Maybe I am teaching this very secret science. God doesn't want it. He says, all right, shut him up. <laughs> That's the only reason I can figure out. <laughs> but we are actually telling you the secrets which you won't read in books. The inner bone 
has three bones the inner ear there are two bones and one hammer on both sides what I say you don't hear it it is that not 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 which brains picks up and translates it in the center of understanding center of understanding in us body nervously is controlled by the navel point so your eyes ears and tongue throat is controlled by navel point whatever you hear whatever you see and whatever you say is controlled by this navel point if navel point is a little up diarrhea if it's a little down constipation if it's on the left side gas if it's on the right side burping and all it has to do is one millimeter one millimeter the navel point is one millimeter off your entire digestive system your feelings what should I say you are not you then you go to the doctor take the medicine what medicine done it suppresses it that symptom nerve system calms it down but it doesn't go away then it shows up have you seen that sometime sometime you this arm hurts sometimes this shoulder hurts sometimes this <coughs> 80 percent of headaches are because of the navel point 80 percent 90 percent you get tired because of the navel point But still, there's, there's, there's no point. There's only, it used to be, when you were a child, all energy came through it. You didn't have the breath of life. Something which sustained you without breath of life. Something which nurture you to be a human without breath of life. Is it dead? No. It's alive. Your entire nervous system is controlled by it. What did you say? The other person said, you heard me. Yeah, but I don't understand. Naval imbalance. You hear, but you don't hear. What was that? You see, you didn't see. Sometimes have you talk to people, they say something, you say, what? What are you saying? There's no juice in it. In normal language, we can say guts. We are going to work today and tomorrow on this chakra. About the geography of it, I'll say my language. You can read it in the book. It doesn't make much of it. 
It has that many petals, it has that many sounds. This is what it is. Then what? If you know something geographically, but you do not know what it is and how to use it, you can't use it. It doesn't mean to see. So we are creating a relationship today with it. The tape I am going to play with it, Hami Ham Brahmam. We are we and we are gods. You understand? Very good beat. Words are very simple. But you will speak these words. Watch me. You will speak. You will be worse than me. I could, because you don't have practice. But maybe after 31 minutes, <coughs> no, nobody is perfect in this. It took me about a year and a half, I think, about eight, one year and about eight months to do what I do now. I think when a child is born, as he walks, uh, trained for party, he should be trained to adjust third chakra. It's so important. But the tragedy of it is this a tragedy. Tragedy is if you do not know how to balance and your third chakra automatically do not balance you, you can't do it later. Game is over. That's the tragedy of it. Awaken the kundalini, do the whole thing. That doesn't mean anything in real words. I mean, I, if I want to sell you something, I'll say, Awaken the kundalini, I am the mantra, count on me, I'll you know, give me $50,000. That won't work. Awaken kundalini means all hundred facets of pressure are automatically balanced by you. Then, serious things are balanced. Then you play around, you have no worries. You don't care, you enjoy life. You concentrate. You are intuitive, you know it. It is not like a watch, you have to wind the third chakra and the spring is full and then you can enjoy it. This doesn't work that way. It has to be invoked, initiated, and it has to be automatic. It's a real work. What is the benefit? Benefit is you can't be beaten once it is on. What is the tragedy? Tragedy is you remain fully, it doesn't matter what you do. In psychology, we work on anger, childhood anger, this, that, God, so many things. We try to make theories. In medical science, we work on systems, you know, physical, mental. Some diseases are psychologically physical, some diseases are physically causing psychology problems. Now let us talk about religion. If you are religion, it doesn't matter which religion you are. I don't care, you know. They all, all are brands. It doesn't make sense to me ever from day one. But whatever your religion is, if it does not make you infinite, that you can love 
and you can be free and you can be happy and you can be beautiful. I don't know which religion it is. Religion means you become real. I am known as a religious man. I am and I am not. That's not my problem. But take me anywhere. I won't dress up like this. I'll wear blue jeans. You know, no, 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 no. I'm telling you. And open chest shirt. No, no. I did it once. I'm telling you. And I, I will wear some funny shoes. Take me there. In one minute they will realize I'm a religious man. One minute. It won't take more than 60 seconds. It is not that I am a religious man. Not at all. My very presence is religious. You talk to me anything. Playboy, this boy, that boy. You will find me always turning you around to letting you understand there is a higher self. It's not that I don't joke, it's not that I'm cutthroat humorist. I make jokes on everything. With few people with whom I'm very free are where I feel I'm educating, not that I'm prisoner of war because somebody ego is projecting and I have to defend myself because people who come to me are just like glass, little rub, crack. So you have to be very compassionate and keep them in a very kind situation. First of all, when a person enters, I know from the aura whether a person is coming or a frog is coming or a deer is coming or elephant is coming, you know, I don't have a problem with that. <coughs> Rarely who human walks into me. Yeah. So you understand I am handicapped. Put yourself in my position, you will commit suicide. Really. I have to tell an idiot how happy I am to see him how beautiful I am to see him, how marvelous it is. What I am trying to actually do is to bring balance in his third center so his arc line may be human before I can talk. You don't understand my tragedy. I am a born blind man. All I see is arc line, aura, and blah, blah, blah. And what I see, I compute at a spontaneous time. Now tell me if you see somebody as Mr. A and you feel him as Mr. Z, how you will deal with it? But I have a mission to come accomplish. That's the mission of delivery. Sometime, we discuss sometime things with some people. There is one student of mine we have been discussing is from last three years. He says, sir, draw the line. I say, where? The world is an ocean. You draw the line on water, what that means? One day, he was arguing for about two hours. Very convincing. He read the books. He read the American history. He even read Indian books. He even quoted Guru Gobind Singh. Draw the line. I just in the end said, do you believe in God? He said, yes. Do you know anything about God? He said, little bit. I said, when he draw the line. He said, I said, if God cannot draw the line, Rukh Rohan ki rozi natare, this is, I said, Guru Gobind Singh. God doesn't get angry with anybody. Does get and take revenge from anybody. God doesn't deny any. One who denies another person has nothing to do with God.
Denial is not God. But where is the courage in us to accept the whole thing? Here. At the third center. We can be totally unique. Perfect. Our presence can work. We can be beautiful without any setup and charm. If we have our third center working for us, they say it is dormant. <coughs> I agree with it. It is dormant. We are dormant. You know what we do? We do something. You know for what? To live. To survive. We do nothing to enjoy life. Tell me what you do. Anybody can tell me. Is there anything you do to enjoy life? Because none of you has a balanced observation. You cannot observe and think and then balance. You have to be there. Well, wait a minute. You take honey. You get the taste spontaneously. You take red chilies. You take the taste spontaneously. So is the life. You take the taste of life spontaneously. Does it turn in brain? No. Does it turn in hips? No. Does it turn by the skin and the senses? No. Balance is observed at the third center. Brain only multi Mega magnifies it. Do you understand? Today and tomorrow I'll work on it if we have to work a little more than we will spend another week. I want you to honestly understand once in a lifetime what I'm talking. I know you do not know what I'm talking. You touch here, there's a little one point. It was once a place, it was okay. It never got sick, no pimple on it. Why should we bother about it? It doesn't bother us, we should not bother it. That's the attitude. Actually, without the activity of this point, everybody lives in a dungeon. Life means nothing. Then we have a substitute. Sensations, drama, drama, problem, magnitude, mind. We play games. You know why we are slave to our mind? Because power this third point doesn't balance life. So then we start thinking. Why? Why is as high as sky? There's no answer to that why. It's a run. It's a blind run. Everybody's life is a blind run. I can say it because I have experience of it. It is such a run that you can't stop. Is this run essential? No. Needed? No. What is it? It's a waste of time. You want to do it the hard way or the soft way? Come on. 
how you are ready. Hard way will be difficult. You are Americans, you know. Let us do slowly, right? Hard way is to make the mool band the root lock and then do it. That's very damn difficult. But it's enjoyable. It's very sensual. Now you are ready. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I can persuade you the way I want it, but actually if let's do it scientifically, slowly, see what it is. Balance your hand in such a way that every part of the hand, palm, fingers, meet exactly in a balance and put a pressure there exactly as you have to pressure the nerve at the navel point. Hmm? Navel point and this pressure will play just like a heartbeat. This pressure will be like this, <laughs> like this. I'm doing on the side so you can see me, you will keep it here. And both hands will press when you press the navel. And with the tip of the tongue you will chant. <coughs> You're going to do three things. Your hand will press like a beat of the heart by your will. Your navel will be pulled in by your will with the press of the hands. And your tip of the tongue will talk. Hummy, hum. This is how you look at talk. Hummy, hum. Pram. It will look weird, but don't worry. In the, in the long run, you will open up. OK? Understand? Make the spine straight, please. And balance your hand exactly in a way that you can feel every part of the hand. And then let's do it. OK. You will have a fun tonight.
inhale inhale and now pull the navel and press the tip of the tongue and concentrate let it go now again inhale deep consciously hold the breath now pull the navel inward and the tip of the tongue let it go now if you are not done it twice right do it this time inhale deep deep now steady pull the navel in press the tongue tip tongue hard relax I <coughs> did not let you go through it is a part of your life now we did it just assess yourself don't don't bother you're not going to tell anybody anything just feel it is such a quick difference you can feel <coughs> you don't have to convince anybody that infinity that god that purity that power that pure power is in your navel point you can buy it you can sell it and i cannot give you you cannot take it but i give you a technological knowledge <coughs> through which you can initiate it so it will start working for you what that will mean ultimately i'm not saying there will be no problems i'm not saying there will be no rush i'm not saying there will be not scandals i'm not saying anything but you will be untouched <coughs> you can sit like a lotus <coughs> in the muddy waters and enjoy life that is the power of the third chakra it gives you instant infinite experience of your life no time may can measure it no waste a lot of things in life but there's nothing like this now for 5 minutes we pray for peace and there's a tape right and we'll sing with our heart for 5 minutes Now listen. If a American is dying or Iraqi is dying, death is death. <coughs> And war is war. You can contribute, participate in that war. 
give me your prayer for peace. And who knows whose prayer will work. All that guy has to get out of Kuwait and save his skin, that's all it is. He doesn't, he didn't know. He, I'm, I believe it. <coughs> why we want war? We want to test it out. I tell you why we went to war. I must forget about American politics. We went to war to test it out whether our new billions of dollar war machine works or not. And poor guy invited us. <laughs> That's all it is. Who's going to go and live in Iraq? Tell me. Anybody of you? No, it's not true. But we have to test it out what we have. He offered the opportunity. They are never going to have ground war. Are you kidding? What war? They can nail him right from the sky. Why should they bother? <coughs> Everybody band together. You know why? British want to test their war machine. Even the French, who I never understood will ever join, they are testing their own, own aeroplanes. Are they are sending the message to Russia, your MiGs are no good. This is not a war, it's a human tragedy. There's nothing in this war. You know what will happen, real war? When we'll conquer Iraq, liberate Kuwait, then we built up Iraq. Then will be real war. Without Iraq, there is no balance in that area. First we'll beat him, then we'll nurture him. First we'll destroy those bridges, then we'll build them. This is what we do with Japan. This is what we did with the Korea. This is what we did with the Formosa. This is what, oh my Germany, we spend everything there. So world has learned when they want to be rich and great, they pick a war with us. <laughs> really, that's the American way. First beat the heck out of them, then build them up. <coughs> Japan is no bigger than the human pancra, just a little thing. <laughs> He's giving us the money, can you believe that? Germany waged two world wars. Now that is our ally, friend. We guard his borders, we do everything, we give him everything, and they are having a fun, they are not worried. Now they say, because of two world wars, we are not joining it, <laughs> period. When war will be over, we'll send the engineers to build it up, which American way is. <coughs> but you know, human tragedy is a human tragedy. Let's pray. In our own way. And as, as we want to pray. Um,
With each atom of their life, God is. That's what we are projecting. Where, wherever they are, near or far, whatever the status is, good or bad, God be with them. That is the prayer. The feeling of oneness, just imagine you are there in that desert. First imagine that, that's what the imagination is useful. Imagine being there. Imagine being with these people and then feel and pray that God be with them, with total of them, with all of them. Thank you. May the long times. All surround you and the pure light within you. I 
God Almighty bless us, bless all these people, give them comfort and peace, be with them in life and death, bring peace to the earth, that's our prayer. Give us the strength to pray, give us strength to be, give us the strength to elevate ourselves, Sat We'll meet tomorrow again. Thank you. This year we're putting in an article. I think in July of 1991, we, the first group of American Sikh students, will celebrate the 10th anniversary of our arrival in India, pioneering the adventure of education in the foothills of the Himalayas. We were the first to leave the comfort and convenience of our homes to experience unity of the peace of the culture.